Hello everyone, today we will be learning about sign test with large sample which means that if the total pair of sample is greater than 25. As I have already mentioned that sign test is used for comparing two correlated sample which are paired. Therefore, the total number of sample is always in pair. N which is the total, total pair of sample is greater than 25. We will be using the formula of sign test calculated for large sample. Now, if in my previous video, I have, I have shown you how to use sign test when the sample is smaller in size, which is the pair of sample is smaller than 25. But for a larger sample, first step is to find the value of Z. And the formula for Z is The axis is the number of years sign and n is total pair of sample. Here the x corresponds to total of positive or negative sign. x plus 0.5 is used when x is smaller than half of total pair of sample and x minus 0.5 is used when x is greater than half of total pair of sample. Let us solve this with an example and see how the formula is used for sign test when the sample size is larger. An example, a researcher has taken 50 pair of students for the study and obtained the data. Can we conclude from the data by using sign test that the training of two groups differ significantly. So this is the data given in the question in which it's said that the number of positive sign is 37 and number of negative sign is 12. Number of 0 is 1. And because the number of 0 is eliminated, so the total number of pair will be n equals to 37 plus 12 49 so the total number of pair here is 49 so let us find out the value of z since the formula of z is here the x is number of fewer sign in the question as you can see the number of fewer sign is the negative sign which is 12 so we will take the value of x as 12 thus the x is 12 which is number of fewer sign and the half of total number of sample is n by 2 which is 49 divided by 2 equals to 24.5 since the null hypothesis here is that there is no difference between the training of the two groups we have to see and check using the sign test to either accept the null hypothesis or reject the null hypothesis now to calculate the value of z and its formula is this we will use x plus 0 0.5 since the half of total size pair of sample is greater than the value of x z equals the value of x is 12 we will use the plus since 12 is s smaller than half of n if the value of x was greater than half of total number of sample then we would have used the negative sign here but since it's smaller than half of n therefore it's plus 12 plus 0 0.5 minus half of n by 2 is 24.5 divided by half of root of n which is 49 as the total pair of sample is 49 equals to Thus, 3.43 is the value for Z. Now to find the 
value for p which is the probability value and we can find the one third probability value that is the value for p in the table which i have already shared you in the note this is the table that is used to find the value of p when the sample size is greater than 25 in sign test the value of z was 3.43 how do we look for its value is from the column the maximum for the 3.4 is this 0 0.003 after consulting the table we know that the one tell value of p associated with our computed z value which is 3.43 as 0.003 so this is the p-value which is much much smaller than 0 0.05 and smaller than 0 0.01 thus we reject null hypothesis and conclude that the training of two groups differ significantly if the value of p was greater than 0.05 and 0.01 we would have accepted the null hypothesis but since the value of p after computing uh, the value of z from the table uh, is 0.003 which is much much smaller than the 0.05 and 0.01 so we have to reject the null hypothesis thank you